All right. Okay, friends, I got a kind of a fun little video for us. It's something I've been thinking about for, I don't even, probably two and a half, three years, I've been thinking about this job, or this video, pardon me. Um, and today, the simple things in life are taking over the forefront and bringing gratitude into my life like you wouldn't believe. For instance... This lovely shirt, I says to my wife, I says, honey, we have a place called Value Village. I call it Valu Village. And it's a secondhand store where you go and you give all your clothes to people doing it and then they resell it like a Goodwill or a secondhand store. Okay? Valu Village. Now, friends, this was a long sleeve shirt. Of course, we understand. You're only young once. You got to let the love hang out while you got it. Let it fly, boys and girls, women and children. Now, uh, it's green, my favorite color. Get the gullet, which is what we're doing right now. But all I'm telling you is that I've got so much gratitude for this shirt, simply for a couple reasons. Snap pockets, big pockets, phone, stuff, you know, all the goodies. Yeah, simple things. It's just what it does to me. Brings gratitude running home. Now, I've, I've made this, what we're gonna do, I'm just bringing the edge up on this. It's not very dull. Uh, but it, it does have some rock teeth on it. All I'm doing is bringing up the corner. Bringing up the working corner and making sure we got gullet action happening. And I'll check the rakers. What this is, it's two icons of the industry going head to head on a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. It's not Sunday. I know, Bucket. So I'm just going to make sure we got a nice sharp edge that's going to grab some wood. I made it easy for both saws. I just put a 24 inch bar on it. And uh, we're gonna do a little race of Roni, the San Francisco tree, um, uh, and see how we make out. Now, a couple things to take into uh, concern. This chain is not the right gauge for this bar. It is a home light or some kind of crazy bar. It works on both saws, which is home light and McCullough. It works. I don't know why it does, but it does. It's a Windsor bar, I think. It's got a roller nose. So we're gonna file up, we're gonna head down. My chain's about the right tension for cutting. It's just a little loose for filing, that's all. But it's okay, I'm just bringing up my corner. This sucker's gonna cut. Uh, it's the old debate, home light or McCulloch? Aha, yeah. I'll finish up, I'll see you guys down there. See you on site. Two titans in the industry. Same CCs, same era. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. What is that? Marlin? Yeah, it is. All right. Oh, and by the way, that's all right there. Um, yeah, brand new. It's brand new. It's never, look at it. <laughs> look at it, friends. <laughs> Yeah, she's brand new. I uh, I acquired myself a guy. It's a power saw, man. It's a power saw. Guys that, you know, you want to keep them pristine, and that's great. You you go ahead, do that. It's a power saw. It was built to run. We're going to do this. We're going to run this power saw. We're going to run that power saw. We guys, get out your timers. We'll see who cuts faster. These are both 54 cc's. There was a home light X, uh, pardon me, at home light, uh, XL automatic that was 58 cc. The XL 12 was 54 cc, same as the Mac. 
and how you tell the difference. A good friend of mine told me this, named Bayou Country Power Saw. I mean, I love Home Light, but I'm not up on Home Light. Home Light changed their, their, their fuel, uh, oil pot. See that? They changed it to up here. And when you see them up here, that means they're 54 cc. Or pardon me, 58. That's a 54. It's an XL12 is what it is. Beautiful little saw. This old Mac is just what it is. I took the screen out of the muffler, let her breathe a bit, and that thing's just got a silly little whatever on it. Seems to work okay. Same saw, stock. They're both stock saws. It's gonna be fun. Okay, friends, here's the video I've been wanting to do for I can't tell you how long. Like, I mean, a long, long time. Probably do with a couple sizes, different sizes of wood. This is actually pretty good sized wood, friends, for this for this cut. Here's the Mac, and that's it's not a Pro Mac, friends. It's just a straight automatic, just the most basic saw. These guys made a gazillion of these. And in my opinion, they were far ahead of their time. Friends, this is a Pro Mac 1010 automatic, or not a Pro Mac, pardon me, um, a Mac 1010. Just McCullough Mac 1010, bare bones. Okay, bare bones, 24 inch bar, full house chain. Okay, it does, it has full house chain on it, okay? And I've just filed it up, the rakers are on it. I found a bar that I can make work on both saws. So I'm gonna swap it out to the home light XL12 after we cut with this. Let's, let's begin, shall we? Get out your time watches, friends. Let's see what happens. I wonder if it's flooded already. I hope not. Good. Let's get this squared away. What do we got? There she be. Almost there. That should do it. There it is. It's in. We go. Make sure we're. Okay, friends, let's do this. Let's try this other little saw. I had, uh, my storage just ran out, so.
So, good morning, friends. Um, the simple things in life. You know, <laughs> this channel, uh, what, what I do sometimes, uh, just because, is I ask you guys, because you're looking out, or you're looking in, I'm looking out. Right, that's what's going on. So, let's switch places. Theoretically, hypothetically, whatever the words are to suit the description. Um, I'm gonna look in at, at Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel and see what that's like and, and, and enjoy the content. And then you guys be me for, for a little bit. That's called seek to understand. It is, and, it, and it, it helped me out. It helped me out so much when it came down to, excuse me, um, forgiving. Forgiving my dad, actually. Um, and understanding him, right? What, what were his capacities? What were my expectations? What was I looking for? Was I looking for sorry, son? Was I looking for I love you, son? Because that ain't gonna happen. It's not. Uh, so, but in order for me to understand why he couldn't do that, I needed to seek to understand where, so what that meant to me is, okay, well, where did he come from? What was it like with his dad? Well, he lost his dad to cancer and they were close. And he left school in grade 10 to go work in the meat shop. He's a butcher. So that helped. So, excuse me, but that's, that's my point is, my point is, is it, it, it always is better. Relationships are always better when we seek to understand one another. You know, I had a guy just a just a rambler guy comment email actually emailed me and said uh hey listen bug and i know i know what it's like i know i know the time that it takes it do you do you have a youtube channel do you have a family do you have a full-time job do you have this do you have that do you put out a video a day no you don't so you don't understand unfortunately and i don't claim to understand what your life is so you don't understand unless you're doing what I'm doing. <laughs> so you can't understand. You can empathize and think, ooh, wow, that's, yeah, that's a lot. Because it is a lot. But it ain't nothing to me. It ain't. Because it's what I choose to do. No one's forcing me to. The benefits I have, the emails I get from people, the thank yous, the, the inspiration people are getting, the inspiration I'm getting from you people. You know, it, it's like this two-way street. It always is. So I have found in my journeys thus far in relationships that seeking to understand, it's the old saying, friends. It's the old, don't judge a man until you walk a thousand miles in his shoes. Well, that's what it is. That's the same principle, seek to understand. How are you? Because you know what I like doing? I like playing with these things. I do. I enjoy playing with these. These are some of, these are some of mine over here. This new one, I, I got some video to share with you about these axes. Gosh, this is a nice tool, this one. Came from Captain, or not Captain, it came from, oh, geez, that's lovely, friends. This, this, this tool right here is absolutely lovely. It's a bigger axe. Hey, Bri. Okay, first off, friends, 
First off, this axe came from John Champion. John, this axe, uh, I talked to Caleb, the, Caleb, the, the axe addict. Caleb's a fountain of information, as well as a mean, mean axe swinger. Like, met him in, in Washington, knew right away he's, uh, he had a handle on things. I'd have him on my axe swinging team any day of the week, okay? Now, I'm like, Caleb, what, what have I got here? He, he, he's, oh, see, look at this, friends. See, it, it just, <laughs> I sharpened it up. I did, I sharpened it up a little bit. Um, this is kind of a neat axe. It, it's got a profile um, that's gonna do some damage. I, I, I do know this, like very sharp. I'll show you the profile. You guys gotta know what the profile is. You can't just watch me swinging and not know what I got going on. This is a channel of axes and wood and power saws and logging and trees and the love of trees. Here's the profile, take a look at it. This is what we're dealing with, okay? It's lovely. It's important, in my opinion, convex is the best where it's rounded slightly, not, not straight, not straight. This is a glorious ax, friends. <laughs> it is, it's beautiful. I have a feeling it's gonna do a, do a, a bit of damage. I don't think it's gonna get stuck. It, it doesn't strike me as it'll, it'll get stuck too much. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's scary. It's gonna be scary. Yeah, indeed. Oh. Oh my goodness, this is my new axe. See, oh, when I when I get to the right blacksmith who finds me on YouTube pleading for, for a quality blacksmith to get together with me to build a buck and special, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have some fun and people are gonna get a good axe. And it ain't gonna be a bushcraft axe. It's gonna be a wood splitting axe. An all around wood splitting axe. Look at this. It's a bigger axe. See the profile? See? It's kind of con convex, you see? It's not a wedge. It's not, it's convex. Oh, these are the best splitters in my mind. Anyway, uh, Rusty Hill, how are you, brother? <clears throat> Excuse me. Good evening, friends. So, get this. Um, you, you'll see it on the channel, friends. That's as big as the tree is right there. That's basically the stump. It is the stump. There's the, look at, there's the wire right there. See that? There's, there's like some wire. Um, friends, okay, here, here, here's the tree. It's, well, let's see. It's 16 inches on the stump. There's eight. Good morning, and friends. Uh, it, Listen, just stick with me on here on this just for a minute. I do is. the close-up thing. You know, and then when I turn the camera what back to me, you get here, this, okay, you know, close up. Just deal with it for this, a couple of seconds here. It'll go it away. <laughs> Thanks, should. friends. I want you to know, I want you to notice something. Look at. Okay. Look at the consistency of the grain. Okay, look, 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 look. So here, here's, let's do this together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 right there look at how close the rings are okay so that's 10 so i'm gonna pan back look 10 and that's the widest part of the grain right there friends it's the widest part of the grain look it's about an inch okay so 10 20 30 40 50 anyways i'm not gonna bore you with that look at look at this Look what happens. Look right here. Look at it. it. Friends, this could pass as old growth right here. You can't even look at one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. From there, literally, friends, from like, I'm going to get an increment, okay? This piece of bark right here. From like right there, that little dirty mark right there, to right there is 10 years. It's, friends. Okay, here it is. The smell in the air right now, old growth fur smells way different. This is an old growth fur, but it is, it's a hundred and, we, we, we did the math, friends. This tree is about 180 years old, 170, 180 years old in downtown Nanaimo. So, but that's old. I, I will tell you this. There stands in town 120, 130, 150 in there like there is. 180's old. 180's freaking old. Look at this, friends. I, I need to stress it again. Look. Oh, I, you guys probably, I just probably close up to you guys, didn't I? I hate when I do that to you. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, friends. Look at this. Where is it? Look. Look what happens. Look at this. Do you see? And right here, right there. Look what happens. Look at that right there. There's our heart right there. 1850, right there. I got a good mind to save a chunk of this and, and do a little thing. 1850. It's pretty amazing. It is, to me, it's amazing. This is amazing firewood. Oh, it is, it's deadly. So we grabbed it, we had to hike it. This is the first time I've hiked firewood out of a backyard in a long time. Did I, am I freaking close up again? Gosh darn it. Yeah, I was, I did it again. I don't like doing that, sorry friends. <laughs> Anyway, to me, it either goes, well, no, it's not going over there. It's going right freaking there because this is our next burn. This will hit, we'll, we'll start in here in September. Okay, right here. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven quarters. There's, there's a year there. And then, and then another, you know, a year and a bit in here once this is good. You see, so this will go in. It's a couple of cords of Arbutus and then that fur and then another probably cord and a bit and we're jagged up there which I'll have that by the end of summer. That'll be jagged. Then it sits all again, right? It, it, so I'm two years ahead and burning all the time. You rarely see steam coming out, or smoke coming out of my chimney. And that's the way to do it. That's what Mother Nature wants. Sorry about the close-ups, friends. Philip, I got your box today. dogs in it. So don't pick up something behind it. Huh? 